You were too late. Ha. No, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we just went 20 minutes, and I was previewing the whole thing, not recording. So we're going to speed through what we talked about earlier, because we're all really mad at me. Yep, we are. Including yourself. Including myself. Because record button, preview are right next to each other, and I pressed preview to make sure that everything was okay, and forgot to hit, rec you know, stop guys, preview, start record. Guys, this guy's got diabetes. He is the... No, he is the face of the fucking Liberty commercial right here. So when it goes, when it, when it starts. Diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. Diabetes. I was losing my ice cream. <laughs> you get it. Get it. <laughs> Anyways, Bobby gets it. <laughs> Bobby was just like, diabetes. No. Bobby was just like, just have thirty. So we talked about the season pass fixes last gen consoles, and we're gonna go ahead and start off with the season pass because it involves the last gen consoles. So the season pass will not be included for last gen consoles. Last gen consoles will only be on thirty frames per second. Um, and it's really just them. And it doesn't have campaign. And it doesn't have campaign, which no. makes no sense to me, but okay. But you were saying something about rip montages. Yeah. Okay, so no one will ever do montages on 360 because any editor that you'll get will require a 60 FPS at least. Um, yeah. If you're on computer, they fucking do like 600 FPS, so it's just a little thing, if you didn't know. Yeah, so... Rip montages, rip last gen consoles. I think that no one, unless they're really, really desperate to play multiplayer, aren't going to be either that or they're just too, uh, too stubborn to upgrade. Because now you, what was, what was it like? You can go to Walmart and get the PS4 bundle with Black Ops 3 and everything for less than a normal PS4, or some shit like that. Like, go and get the goddamn next gen console, okay? Get off the, the fucking 360. Right <laughs> or get a computer. Shit, it is. I was Wait, gonna what? say, and those um, I, I was gonna say um, the Call of Duty community is actually there's a chance to win a custom PS4, pair of Astro headphones, and a pair like a uh, cover, I think. And if you tweet it, uh, it's a live Twitter. I tweet. have Astros it's... and I have a PC, so I'm not interested. I'm I'm not not oh, You're always interested. You can sell it. Exactly. There's a thing called uh, eBay or Craigslist. So, so rip that, but then the season pass, they said they're going to bring back old fan favorites. Uh, so, r the old maps from Black Ops 1 and 2 are going to be remade and included in the season pass. So, I guess you guys can get hyped for that. I don't really like remakes of old maps because they just don't feel the same. So, I don't really care. Cool, if you like it. But me, I'm just like, okay, whatever. I feel play. like it won't be like to the point where people will hate it, but... I feel like it's going to be like a, you know how they took the old World at War maps and put them in Black Ops? I feel like that's how it's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just going to be like, cool, it's there. Uh, season Pass also is going to include, um, of course, zombie maps. It's going to come that. with the new zombie map, the giant. It's going to um, come with, uh, the like I said, that it'll come with the reimagined fan favorites like we were talking about new multiplayer and that's pretty much it <laughs> and then um so rip last gen consoles season pass is looking good and now they made fixes from the uh from the beta which included the if you're on pc you had mouse lag connectivity issues those have been fixed if you also if you couldn't like your game would crash if you were in trying to customize your class during a, a lobby that's been fixed thank god uh, console. I forgot what was wrong. What was wrong with console? The flinching. I'll go. I'll go. Yeah, it was. All right. So kill cams were fixed because they had some problems with those. Weapons were balanced, including the M8 and Razorback. Which thank fucking god for that. That might actually save multiplayer. Uh, concussion grenades were fixed because the stuns and stuff were off balance. Same with flashbangs and tactical mask. Um, they're kind of like better, I should say. Grenade speeds and distances were tweaked. Um, it's with second chance that was fixed a little bit there. I didn't see any problem with it, but 
uh, flinch mechanism fixed. Thank fucking God, man. That shit screwed you over in gunfight so many times. It wasn't even, it wasn't even cool, man. It was just. Um, yeah. But Rejack was adjusted. Black Hat was complete fucking nerf. Like it does nothing anymore, pretty much. If you think about it, because it's just gonna be impossible to hack score streaks and shit anymore without getting killed. Because you pop up on the map as a red dot when you start hacking shit. It tells them, tells the enemy team, your thing's being hacked. And the farther you are, the harder it is. The higher the score streak, the harder it is. So it gets harder and harder to hack shit as it gets better. I was gonna say, and isn't it like if you're if you're hacking, they're gonna it's gonna kind of show up. Yeah. Yeah. Was, so they're. I I see a possibility of using that to your advantage. You can yeah. have teammates wait and cover you, and then try to attract the team to get you since you're hacking. Um, and then have your teammates protect you and then basically get kills depending on the game mode, you know, if, especially if you, in such, um, search and destroy, I was gonna say set to destroy, lol, um, in search to destroy, you can, like, literally have the team try to, like, flank and kill you and then you could possibly even win the match because of that, and or you get their score streak, so, yay, uh, we we're also <laughs> talking about the bomb, you can, you know, troll with that. So I think it's more of like you have to be smart with it. Now it's not just anyone can pull up a black, you know, the black hat and hack it. You have to use it to your advantage now. Yeah. Uh, what else? Anything else? Um, there is a couple of things if you guys want to know about the multiplayer, which was a new multiplayer map called Redwood, which was basically the Northern California forest. Uh, if you guys didn't already hear about that, there was a ninth specialist that was released, which is called Firebreak, um, and it comes back. with a special weapon, which is the Purifier. Um, his special ability is, like, uh, Heat Wave is another one, my bad, because I think the specialist is, like, is Fire Break, and Fire Break, I think, has multiple inside of it. Isn't that how it works? So, yeah, so you get a, a, an yeah. ability or a weapon, so his weapon's yeah. a flamethrower. His ability is, I believe, you can stun Heat players wave. around you? It's a powerful blast that stuns nearby enemies and destroys equipment, and it's called Heat Wave, yeah. Yeah, um, so... You can either go around with a flamethrower and turn anyone, anyone and everyone into toast, or you can stun them and teabag them and then shoot them. So, I think he's gonna be my favorite specialist. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, also, I want. Um, they also, oh. if you guys didn't know already, this was a leak. Just in case, uh, but this was leaked on the, um, uh, on the uh, what are the the live streams? So it was the taunts and gestures. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah. At the end of the match, yeah, you can change it. It's like uh, in blacklight. So, yeah, so you have a different gesture, like thing, like a GTA. You can fucking teabag. Yeah. <laughs> at the end of the game, that's kind of how it's gonna be. Um, four player sp split screen for on uh, for offline, two for online. So it's gonna be like traditional Call of Duty. Theater mode, theater mode, of course. Fifty five ranks, ten prestiges. Um, and then you get something unique after Prestige 10, which they didn't release yet. Um, Hashtag race to Prestige 10. I might do that. I might actually start like doing just trying to get up my up my prestiges because I never really cared about it now. But now I'm a little more interested in multiplayer, and I really kind of want to just grind a lot. Yeah, there's a 36 minute video on the Firebreak Specialist in the Redwood map. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna watch it, but. But um, anyway, so um, Hydro came up with a cool idea for, so if you guys are interested in watching us play Black Ops 3, we will be playing it uh, on release night. Me and Fabio and a couple other friends are going to be going through the campaign first. Uh, we're going to be streaming that. Fabio's going to be streaming 24 hours for charity. I will uh, probably join him <laughs> uh, in doing that. And then Hydro, of course, you're going to be playing on release night, I'm guessing. Yeah, but the problem I run into is that I get it, I got it for console and they got it for PC, so... And me playing it on PC would be really garbo, so I can't really play with them. Um, well, you can still check him out. I mean, his Twitter is yeah, right man, there. Yeah, like, man, I can, I can join in, and I can play, like, by myself, and then they can be playing their own thing. So, like, well, I'll just be, like, guest starring while they play the game, and I'll be like, what's up, guys, man? I'm going to be on console, and they'll be on PC, and they're like, dude, this is so awesome. And I'm just like, I'm playing zombies, bro. It's <laughs> compatible. But, um, so, so yeah, so next Sunday, our next podcast, we'll actually be playing the game live. 
Uh, we'll have my gameplay in the middle, and then we'll have whoever's on, um, who's also playing Black Ops 3. And we'll be just be talking about the game and all that, so thank you Hydro yeah. for suggesting the idea. Again, we'll also be playing on release night, so go ahead and follow us on Twitter. I'll be <laughs> playing on console, add me. My name's STDX Hydro with a space. Yeah, he, he needs plug. people to play on the list because he's just so lonely by himself. Shameless plug. <laughs> I had to get you back one way or another. Fucking diabetes over here. <laughs> I had to get him back. I had to get him back. Anyways, that um, hair is diabetes, bro, man. That hair is diabetes. Look at that. What hair? <laughs> I have a His hat on. Like diabetes. <laughs> no, your hair is just diabetes. like diabetes. Guy's wearing a beanie. Dude, beanie is life. Oh, actually, no, I like wearing beanies too. <laughs> beanie is life, bro. Look at that. Beanie is life. I can't wear a beanie under my headset though. It, it hurts my ears. Not me. He's like, I, I, got, I got it. <laughs> Anyways, um, but thank you all. So make sure that if you follow us on Twitter, come out on release night. Uh, we'll be streaming and Fabio will be doing charity. I'll be joining him because he needs someone to play with. But, hey, did we ever go over Nuketown? Oh, my God. We completely forgot about that. Dude, yeah, yeah man. Okay, so the new Nuketown is like, I feel like it's cool, but it's like you're playing in one of those combat ready areas and the whole map is rendered and you play on like a rendered map if you guys have seen this um because when you see in the trailer they have like the blocks flying off the trailer and everything just looks really rendered and blocky that's how i saw it wolfie what do you think i think it's gonna i mean yeah i think it's gonna be cool it's just it brings the same feel every other new town brought in looks like a really nice place really welcoming but then it's got that under the cover it's like something really dark is going on and um i think it's cool and i think um also the i hope that the mannequin easter eggs are going to be back in the trailer you could see that the heads would pop off so i do believe that the easter egg is going to be back um you get some special thing if you shoot all the mannequin heads in a certain amount of time you're gonna be doing that like i said nuketown is back baby we all love it, one way or another. It's great. Um, I I like I like the fact that it's like you said, it's like one of those simulated and battlefields. They actually, yeah. But here's one more thing: is that they've like changed it so much, and I feel like that's a good thing because having this like I felt I felt like the Nuketown for Black Ops One to Black Ops Two is really bad. Like Black Ops Two, because all they did was change the skin. And I thought that was kind of stupid, because they yeah, just that... added, like, the futuristic skin. Like, they should have just kept the original skin if they really wanted to be like that. I mean, I thought, oh, honestly, wow. I thought the original Nuketown was just so much better than the new one. But it's good that they brought a little bit more diversity to it. So they changed it to, like, all the rooms are actually a bit different if you look at them. Like, the actual room inside of it is, um, the layout of the rooms a bit different. Uh, some are bigger, some are smaller. Um, if you look on the outside, it was re um, like redone so that you could wall run and stuff, and it looks really cool. Also, for all you snipers out there, uh, the little camping spot on the alleyway so that you could watch spawn has been blocked. Good. So, sorry, you can't spawn kill me anymore. That's assholes. the one thing I hate, like hopping into That's games. That's what you think. <laughs> This is Bob is just gonna sit there like spawn wolf. I'll be like, no. Wait, Wait so like what I... hallway was removed? Okay, it's not been removed, but you remember on the, the alleyway on the left side? Um, I think it was Isn't on the couch gone or something. Yeah, the couch is gone. So you can't sit back there and snipe oh, the enemy spawn. I got you. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, with, yeah. I mean, I hate getting into games and like instantly getting like spawn killed, and just like you can't leave spawn. I hate those games. Well, I, I didn't view it as an opportunity. I'm like, oh, they're all here right in front of me. Yay, let me kill Dude, them all. I just Dead. think it's really cool. Like, I think sniping on that, I, f I didn't like the sniping on it, but I think on sniping on Nuketown is going to be really cool um, because it's not going to be the whole, like, quick scope, quick scope, quick scope, quick scope, and then you got the seven-man on feeds. Like, you have to, um, it's almost going to be like a realistic sniper. You got to, like, hard scope and get the shot on, and then bam, right? Fucking yeah, face. because they did the sensitivity when you... When you aim in with a sniper, your sensitivity jumps up for, I believe, like a second. So you can't really quick scope unless you take your finger off, like, the aim. Yeah. So you can't, like, boom, like that. Um, I mean, I've done it, personally. I can still do it. You can still do it. You just have to compensate for that sensitivity. So it means that a lot of the um, younger quick scopers are going to have a lot more trouble. He's like, yeah! 
I, mean, I, I, I suck at sniping, so... I don't like it. I just don't like the way that snipers... Because I feel like it has, like, a um, stiffness when you snipe in. Like, it's almost like you go into it, and then it actually zooms in. Instead of just a fluent, you go in, zoom, out, in, out. It's like... Now you're in. Say, have you yeah. have you actually shot in a real uh, sniper rifle? Yeah, I've shot a real sniper rifle. And Amazing. it's impossible to quick scope. You have to be really good. Because, like... It's just, you have to aim in, adjust your aim, and then, like, even when you pull the trigger, you have to know how to pull the trigger, because I'll, I've, I was sniping with my friend, we were using his, uh, wasn't an Ot 38 it was something less, um, and he, I remember, sh like, pulling the trigger and missing my target, even though I was dead on, he's like, you have to squeeze the trigger, so it, it's funny how people, like, you know, miss, you know, from playing video games, they, like, they completely don't know what, like, real... How to really shoot a gun? There's so much more to it, and I mean, isn't yeah. isn't, isn't Counter Strike one of like the most realistic no, kind of sense? Not at all. Not at all. Counter Strike is very far from realistic. Uh, I can't fucking aim I in. I think it is. I can't fucking aim in at all. I mean, because if you think about it, a re the most realistic military game I've ever seen was Arma. You can uh -huh. break your legs. You can if you get shot, you will die if you don't stop that bleeding. If you get shot somewhere, you will die instantly. Like there's so much more to that, and. You can't include it in a game like Black Ops or Counter Strike because it's too fast paced. So, uh, I think we've covered everything. If you guys have any more questions, make sure to tweet us. Again, follow us on Twitter uh, for when we go live on release night, and then also on Sunday uh, we'll be playing the game and all that good stuff. And I think I'll finally live stream it um, since I'll be playing the game. So, thank you all so much for coming out t tonight. Sorry for the complete fuck ups um, with Skype and the preview, guys. Um, but until next time, love yourselves, make sure you love yourselves, make sure you love yourselves and love life, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.